Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Learn JSP with Mahesh. The last video which we did was uh, our 200th video was really excited when I was doing that and the video why was why GCP rocks so because of its network that was a awesome video which I really liked so life has to continue so we have to do the next video so now uh, most of the time uh, I have got very positive feedback uh, whenever I did the videos in think and design so i thought let me continue the new journey the 201st video in think and design so let's get into our think and design video series question so in our today's think and design in gcp video series uh, video question uh, video series the question is something like this you want to count the number of people wearing face mask uh, when they enter your supermarket you have no machine learning expertise but this requirement needs to be implemented very quickly in very simple terms it has to be implemented yesterday itself as usual so how do you implement this requirement so uh, think about the solution if you have i guess uh, data engineers would be able to quickly answer this question i would say uh, but if you are totally new to gcp just think about it what could be the possible answer to uh, to think about it just pause the video all right if you have got the real uh, the uh, good solution please let me know the solution in the comment section as usual i have a possible solution may not be the the best solution but a possible solution let's look into the solution all right before we get into directly into the solution right i wanted to see whether there's any possible easy option so the easiest option is always using um, the pre-built machine learning apis which uh, gcp provides one such api is called as vision api so what we can do basically is we can just download one of the images here which we see where people are wearing mask and we can just upload it and check whether we are able to do it so let me just try to upload one and see whether i can do something quickly so let me just use one person and um, this is something which i have already downloaded it so I, I can just download one maybe a kid just download it uh, sorry upload it and it will just verify whether i'm a robot or not so traffic light okay i'm really bad at finding it out hope i find it out this time awesome i have find it out so you see that so it has detected the face that's good and anywhere it says uh, mask uh, it does not mention that the objects where it has detected is top bottom so that's something which it shows why don't we check with something else maybe uh, a face of this i guess this is a, a celebrity if i'm not wrong uh, but I don't recollect the celebrity's name. So if you see the objects, it detects there's a glass, tie, tie, that's awesome. Person, shirt, awesome. So it nowhere detects whether there's people wearing mask or not. So if this API would have done that right, we could have done easily, we could have stopped our uh, implementation there itself. Just use uh, Vision API uh, or pre-built Vision API by just sending a request to this endpoint. Job would have been so easier, but it's not able to detect it. The solution which I think as a possible one is use something called as AutoML Vision. So this is where without any machine learning expertise, you should be able to do that. For that, make sure your APIs under APIs, just go to your library and check out whether your AutoML Vision API is enabled so just search for auto ml okay auto ml apis check out the stuff whether it's enabled so if it's not enabled enable this then once you have enabled it what you can do is just go to your artificial intelligence stuff menu and you will see vision so just click on vision so this vision is nothing but your AutoML vision API stuff. So you can use this to do this. So what we are going to do is I have already downloaded uh, around 30 images of individual photos, like something like this, where there's one single person. I have downloaded that where they are wearing mask and people who are not wearing mask, a normal condition, maybe before 2020, uh, how we were so something like that so i have got those video uh, sorry images we'll try to do that so you can just click on get started 
if your APIs are not enabled please enable it and then click on get started and you can create a new data set I have already created a data set I'll show you what is that but uh, let's create a new data set so let's call it as demo mask so that's the data set which I wanted to call it as and it's a single label mask or no mask that's the thing it's just a classification which I'm going to do so for me uh, single uh, label classification is good enough for me so I'm just going to click on create data set once I create the data set it will ask me to upload the layer the data set so uh, to Two different ways of uploading the data set you can upload it from your local machine or you can upload a csv from your google cloud storage i would prefer to use the second option because the data is in google cloud storage and there's also an option where i can set the label meaning this is the format i have to have so where i say whether this data set should be used as train validations data set or as a test data set so you can mention the image and what is the classification or what is the label you wanted to call it as. So this is a nice one. You can use this option. What I have done is I have already created two buckets. Learn GCP with Mahesh hyphen mask where I have images with mask. If I just click on first image, I can see the output. Yeah, this is the image. Now, similarly, if I go to another uh, bucket, where there's a sub I just for simplicity reason I've created two different buckets so in this bucket people who not wearing mask is what been is being uploaded and it's only 30 data 30 sets is what I have uploaded the recommended one is usually minimum 100 images I did not get much so but with this itself we are able to achieve something good is what I felt so now going back if you can create a CSV format of this way so this is the data set which I have created. So train, this is a train data set and this is the bucket name, no mask and the object name and the label which I wanted to call is no mask because it's in no mask uh, bucket. So similarly, I have certain data sets or certain objects which are for validation purpose and certain data sets or objects which is for test purpose. That's it. Now, if I scroll down, so I have from 30 a new data set which is with mask so people are wearing mask so which is in this bucket so this is the stuff which I have created the CSV file is already created now what we'll do is simple we'll just upload uh, this bucket is the CSV file is already up uploaded in a bucket so I'm just going to browse that so just click on this so the bucket name is called as learn GCP with Mahesh and if I just go COVID dot csv that's the file name that's it it's uploaded the green tick indicates it's a valid file let's click on continue and if you see the recommendation from google is minimum 100 images for best results we are just using 30. so click on continue and once you click on continue the importing will happen so basically uh, this import process will take around five to six minutes based on the volume so with 30 uh, or totally 60 uh, objects right it took me roughly around uh, five to six minutes that's what I saw and now when you do this right the screen will show something like this don't think something has gone wrong I see there's a bug in the UI so you can just click on go back and if you go back you will see this uh, demo task has initiated so it's currently import is going on so if you just click on this you should be able to see the status half uh, status you should be able to see this okay you will not be able to see the status sorry my bad so if I just uh, click on uh, yeah you need to wait for at least five to six minutes then you should be able to do it and one good thing is once you do this right uh, if Definitely everybody will be using an account. So if I just go to this Gmail account, right, you will see something like this. Once the import is finished, right, it will send you a mail. Import has been succeeded. So that way you don't need to wait for it. Just upload everything, uh, do some other stuff. And once it, once you get the mail, you can go ahead and try to continue. So that's what it indicates. That's a good part. So 
since it's going to take a longer time right so we'll just wait for a couple of minutes I'll just going to pause the video and then we'll proceed further all right uh, so I have received a mail at 651 so that's the time now in India so now if I go to my if I just click on this it shows the data set was demo underscore mask has been succeeded so that's what it shows you can proceed further is the message now if I go refresh the screen and you should see the import is successful awesome the first stage is there completed now if I just click on this data set I should be able to see a, a nice visualization which most of us would have seen in very popular demos so this is what it shows the two sets uh, like labeled all the things have been labeled we have labeled every image either mask or no mask so for example if you click on labeled and put a filter like mask if I just put that I should get all the images okay something is not running just let me just load it once again put a filter like no mask okay it's failed to load let me just load it once again I don't know it's not loading properly so why don't I refresh it once again just maybe it's maybe something to do with the browser let me just refresh it so the screen has refreshed now if I put a filter for mask let me see whether the filter shows up yes so all the people are wearing mask so it's 30 that's what it shows now if I just remove and put a filter for only no mask meaning this is where how we were uh, before 2020 so that looks good awesome so we have the data set and you can click on the label stats to see uh, the details like based on the details 16 images would be used for training 3 images would be used for validation and 11 uh, images would be used for testing purpose so add it it will come to 30 the same thing is with your uh, no mask data set awesome so the first part is done and till this time we have not even done single line of coding the only thing was the CSV format which we created that's it now click on train now once you click on train you can just click on start training when you click on start training right it will ask you whether you want it as a cloud hosted meaning in GCP or you want to download the model into your local system uh, and run it on your app mobile app or something so I'm going to use with Google uh, ho cloud hosted one click on continue so once I do it it will ask me on the notes it's recommended that you run it on 8 node hours for the data set since I am running a free tier account I am going to use 8 that's it and if you want your model to be deployed on a single node after uh, training so this is for your uh, consumption purpose where you will get an API where you can consume it via API you can check this one or if you don't like it you can leave it so that's your choice where you just you can use the UI itself to do the prediction I'll show you how to do that but if you want it to be as a model which you can send as a rest API I would recommend to turn this on so that's the stuff click on start training and when you click on start training it's going to take roughly around one and a half hours for me it took 90 minutes and once it is done right you will have you will receive a mail something like this auto ml vision api finished training model awesome once you receive something like that right what you will see is i'm just going to cancel the screen i'm going to use the existing one which i have already built mask no mask a data set if i click on that right once the model is built what you will see is the complete details of that ma this thing so if i see train the train is, uh, training is completed and you can do the evaluation also it will give you all the details of that specific stuff so if you want to click on see full evaluation where it will give you the the most ML related stuffs like what's precision recall uh, confusion matrix all those things you will be able to get it and you can also change your threshold if you want to see the how based on the threshold your output varies so let's not go into the nitty gritties of machine learning stuffs because we are uh, the question expects the person is not having the machine learning expertise so so with that if I just go to test and use I just wanted to test out whether my model is really working fine or not 
Now, scroll down. You can upload an image and test it out. Or if you want to use a Python client, you can use it. So multiple options are available. And this is what I usually do uh, and was using uh, doing this kind of a procedure when I was a cloud architect uh, for organizations for few organizations where I was working. So what I used to do is uh, because the images which I took basically was from Google images. Now, if I'm in front of a customer and if I show again, go to Google images and they'll do it, they'll say, OK, there's somehow the data is cooked. So what I usually do is a small tip. Just go to Bing, which is from Microsoft. So just go to Microsoft and search for um, something. And definitely you can see these are two different search engine people mask. So let me just search for it. If I go to images, hope I get some good images. Yes, I can use this first image, uh, uh, a female wearing a mask. So if I just save it, so I'll call it as test one. OK, that's the first image I can scroll down. So I can see this one. I can see whether I can download it. Yes, test two. Awesome. Then I'll just search for individual or people. Yeah, people, just search for people. So if I search for people, this one looks good. So I'm just going to download this uh, this thing. Test three. Awesome. We have everything which is downloaded from Bing. Now, if I go back to my testing the model part, just upload it. It's going to show me the screen uh, from uh, where I can test my first image, test one dot JPEG. Now, the prediction is going on and it shows it's wearing mask. Awesome. 99% accuracy. Accurate. Accurate. That's good. Let me try to do upload one more time. Test two. Awesome. Mask. Now the last one, the person with a smiling face. It shows no mask. So that's the option which I wanted to share now. So very simple without writing a single line of code using auto ML vision you will be able to do this classification, binary kind of a classification, whether the people are wearing mask or no mask. So the solution for this, one of the possible solutions which I have thought is auto ML vision API. So, and by this, I also wanted to show how easy it is to build some machine learning model, even though you don't come from any machine learning, uh, you don't have a skills. If you have the data set, just upload the data set, wait for a few, few hours or few minutes, you should be able to have a model up and running. So that's the video which I wanted to share today. Thank you for watching.